What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp free tutorial for you. So in today's video, I was gonna talk a little bit about how you can get models from the 3D warehouse into SketchUp free. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so as a lot of you know, uh, one of the unique things about SketchUp is that it has a huge warehouse of user-created models that you can import into your models. So you can import these files both into the desktop version of SketchUp as well as into the um, on online version, the free online version. And so this is a model that I've downloaded from the 3D warehouse from the username Paul Wall, but there's a complete collection of all of these different models that you can access from inside the free version. So to get to the 3D warehouse, you want to go off to the right hand side and you want to look for the option labeled components. So when you click on the button labeled components, that's going to pop up a little window right here called components and it's going to show you the components currently contained inside of your model. However, you also have the option right here to search the 3D warehouse. And so, for example, let's say that we wanted to add a table to our model. You can type in the word table and search and you can see how there's a number of different 3D warehouse models in here labeled table. So you can take these and you can find one that you like, you can bring it into your model. And so to bring things into your model, it's fairly simple. All you need to do is just find one of these models, single click, and it'll download it. And when it downloads it, you can see how that brings it in and it's locked to your cursor. Then you can just click in order to place this. So you can see how I was able to bring in this model from the 3D warehouse just like this. And so you can use this in order to quickly find different things inside of the 3D warehouse. Um, you can also, if you want to, because the search function inside the um, the search function inside of the online version makes it a little difficult to find specific things. So another way that you could do this is you could also go to the 3D warehouse website so that's gonna be 3dwarehouse.sketchup.com. And then, if we were to search for table in here, this is gonna allow you to search the 3D warehouse. And what this is gonna do is this is gonna give you a lot more search options. So for example, I can find options in here for a table. And you can see how when this loads up, this gives you a lot more information. So for example, and so you can sort these by things like popularity, as well as if you have an author that you like, you can go look under their name and click on it and find more models from that author. So you can use this to locate more things inside of the 3D warehouse. And so depending on what you're looking for, sometimes this can make it a little bit easier to find different things. So with something like a generic name like dining table, it's probably not. But let's say you like this conservatory slash orangery model that's kind of a more unique name. Well, now you know the name of the model, you could go search for it over here. So conservatory like this, and you can see how that model pops up. So then you can click on this, bring it in. So you can use this in order to find those models and bring them in just like this. And so the other way that you could do this, if you just absolutely can't find a model using the search function over here, is you could find a model over here, download it to your computer, in whatever version you want to use. So if I was to download that as a SketchUp 2020 um, file, you can see how this SketchUp file would download to your desktop. And then you could go into SketchUp. You could click on the little folder and you can click on insert and you can find that file. So if I was to drag that folder over from my downloads folder and insert that and then click on insert as component, you can see how I could drop that file in as well. So you could use this um, if you just can't find something using the search function over here, just download it to your desktop and then insert it back into the web version like that. And then one last thing is you can also save your models or upload your own models into the 3D warehouse. Now I will note this is different than clicking save, right? So save allows you to save this in your own personal um, file location. However, you can also, if you click on this button right here, you can upload it to the 3D warehouse. So there's this button over here for 3D warehouse. And what you can do is you can take this and you can upload it. So you could call it whatever you want, like house model or something like that. And you can add a description and then you can upload it. 
And when you click on upload, what that's going to do is that's going to put this in the 3D warehouse and it'll actually be searchable so people can find it. So for example, if you wanted to put this model up there and have somebody else find it and download it, you could upload that to the 3D warehouse. But just be aware that when you do upload something to the warehouse like this, it is going to be publicly available unless you set it to private. So this isn't really how you want to save your models. This is more a way of distributing your models. But then they'll show up inside of the 3D warehouse, both over here and also over here. So that's where I'm going to end this video. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Was this helpful to you? Have you used 3D warehouse models inside of your SketchUp models? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.